Okay, we've got a quadratic equation. We're going to solve it by using the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula, you got to memorize. Pop goes the weak is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So to use the quadratic formula, we need to first identify the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. And right now, this equation is uh, it's not quite ready. you got to get everything on the same side. So we've got to move everything over to be on the same side. And you want your squares to be positive. Sometimes that's easier. So if we keep our squares positive, so we're going to move everything to the side where you got the most squares. And that's going to be to the left. Okay, so right here, you got a negative 1 square. And then over here on the right side, you got a negative 2 square. So we're going to move everything to the left. So we're going to undo this minus 2r squared. So we're going to plus 2r squared here. We're going to plus 2r squared there. And my formula is kind of in the way, but a minus 1 plus 2. On the left, we've got r squared minus 64 minus 3r equals a minus 3r. So on the right, let's undo this minus 3r, so let's plus 3r. And on the left, that plays with, these are like terms right here, so we're going to plus 3r. And what happens on both sides, the left and the right, is those zero out. So we've got r squared minus 64 equals zero. Okay, now once we've got everything on the same side, you can identify A, B, and C. So A is how many squares you've got. B is how many linear terms you've got. And C is the constant. That's how many ones you've got. So the A in this case is going to be right here. A is 1. B is how many linear pieces you have. And we don't have any, so B is 0. And then C is how many ones we've got, and C is a minus 64. <clears throat> okay, so we got ABC. Once you got ABC, all you do is plug them in to their proper spots in the quadratic formula. So here we go. X equals a negative whatever B is. So negative 0 plus or minus the square root of B. 0 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is a minus 64 all divided by 2 times a so 2 times 1 okay now I'm going to erase this okay now let's clean it up so this is just 0 so we've got plus or minus the square root, and that is just 0. So we've got a negative 4 times 1 times a negative 64. So on my calculator, do that on your calculator. Negative 4 times negative 64, and that is plus or minus the square root of 256 all over 2. Okay, now square root of 256. Try that on your calculator. Square root 256. And that is a perfect square. So square root of 256 is a perfect square. Your answer is plus or minus 16 divided by 2. So 16 divided by 2, your final answer, plus or minus 8. So there's going to be two solutions, positive 8 and negative 8. Yep. Okay, let's do one more. Now, this one, okay, same thing. So to identify the a, B, and C, you remember, they all got to be on the same side. They've all got to be together. So A is how many squares you got. B is how many linear pieces you have. And C is the number. It's how many ones you've got. So let me change colors. Let's move all these on the same side. You want them to be with the square. And you want the square to be positive. And this is a positive 1. So I'm going to move everything to the left. So 3x let's move it to the left side so let's undo this let's minus 3x because plus 3x and minus 3x that is 0 and on the left 
its like term is the 6x, so let's minus 3x there. Okay, now you got x squared, the 6x minus 3x, that will give you 3x, and then on the right, that's a 0, so we just got 28. So let's undo the 28, let's move them over. These are 28, 1, so let's minus 28. And on the left, there is no like term. You cannot add numbers to squares or numbers to x's. So we'll just do it to nothing, to zero here. On the right, these zero out. On the left, we got an x squared. We got a 3x, and we got a minus 28. OK, now once we get everything on the same side, you can find a. a is how many squares you've got. So a in front of here. There's no number, it's understood to be 1. A is 1. B, how many linear pieces you have? So B is 3. And then the C is the 1s. And if it's negative, be sure and take that with it. So it's negative 28. Okay, now I want you to know ABC, just plug it in. X equals negative B. Plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So here we go, negative b. So we're going to do the negative and then whatever b is. b is 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So b is 3, so it's going to be 3 squared minus 4 times the a times the c, a negative 28, all over 2 times the a. So 2 times 1. Okay, now clean this up on your calculator. So next move is going to be negative 3 plus or minus. Okay, I'm a calculator. 3 squared. If you do this on your calculator, that gives you a 9. Now type in a negative 4 times <coughs> 1 times a negative 28. Hit enter. And that should be a positive 112. All over 2. So now add these together. 112 plus 9. So a negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 121 divided by 2. Okay, now this is a perfect square. So for a while, we're just going to give you perfect squares. So your answers are all going to be integers. They're going to be nice and easy. Square root of 121, type that in. That's a perfect square. Square root of 121 is 11. So you got negative 3 plus or minus 11 divided by 2. Now, there's going to be two solutions. So here we go. Solution number one. You got to do a negative 3 plus 11 and then divide that by 2. So if you do negative 3 plus 11, that is, what is that, 8 divided by 2. And 8 divided by 2, okay, 4. There's one of your solutions. Now you got to do minus. So you got to do negative 3 minus 11 and divide that by 2. Negative 3 minus 11 is a minus 14, divide that by 2, and that is a minus 7. So there are your two solutions, 4 and a minus 7.